everyone and welcome to Friday Varnish and today we are going to be talking about my wish list for Polish Pickup October 2020 and this month's theme is animation and if you don't know Polish Pickup is basically a group of makers um, and creators uh, independent brands that come together every month and the store opens every first weekend of the month and they basically create products um, a lot of nail polishes and other things like you know um, beauty products bath products anything nails uh, nail related like stamping um, tools and things like that and um, they are these products basically revolve around a particular theme so everything about polish pickup will be in my description box you can always look there every single month um, all the pertinent facebook groups the website the faqs it's all in there so i'm not going to dwell on that too much because i have so many things on my wish list so i've been in this kind of funk where i'm not interested in the uh, theme and the spoilers come out and i am just like meh i don't really you know particularly love this theme um i don't particularly uh love the polishes but then the swatches start coming in and then all of a sudden i have like a bajillion things on my wish list so my friends manny centric and gotta love polish they're just like kind of laughing at me because i always say like yeah i think i'll be okay and then you know come wish listing day I, I've basically already told them like just expect that there's gonna be like 10 million things on my uh, on my wish list and that's exactly the case that's happened here so I'm gonna uh, wrap this intro up and we're gonna go ahead and get started because it's gonna be probably a little bit of a longish video so the first item I have on my wish list is factory reset which is a restorative nail treatment from Corality and I have heard so many wonderful things about this nail treatment. Apparently it works miracles. And I have been really, really wanting to try it for such a long time. And so I'm so happy that Polish Pickup is offering this product this month. And it's definitely on top of my non-polish list. Like I'm, I'm definitely getting this because I really have been suffering from so much nail issues, splitting, breaking this summer with, you know, the whole constantly washing of hands and hand sanitizers. And so I really need this in my life. And that is factory reset restorative nail treatment from Corality. The next item I have is a charm and this is actually the charm from the January 2020 written in the stars theme but this is a variation it has a little bit of that like purpley blue sky color now I do have the original uh, charm from January 2020 and it's just a plain gold charm with like the white sort of borders in there and I wear it all the time so I feel like I've already been thinking about getting a backup of this charm and this came up and I knew I had to have it if you guys don't know i am obsessed with astrology and i'm actually thinking of really uh, taking astrology quite seriously like actually really studying it and so this is really something that i really really want the next item I have is a body cream by Vapid and it's called You Lost the Substance by Grasping at the Shadows. Now a few months back my friend Carolina ordered a lotion or a body cream from Vapid and she was raving about it. So now, now that they're offering it this polish pickup I actually can't wait to try it. So I'm absolutely excited for this product. I do hope I have a little bit of a room in my budget to be able to purchase this. The first polish I have in my wish list is this beautiful red from Dreamland Lecker and this is O Francesca and this is an orange leaning red with a shift to a glowing golden orange and a sprinkle of holographic pigment. This is absolutely stunning to me but actually it's so funny because I was streaming some YouTube videos on my television while I was folding laundry that uh, one day 
and that's usually what I do when Dell's video popped up on my TV and my husband actually like passed by and this was what was getting swatched and so I said ooh, ooh can you stop and can you tell me if you like it and he said it looks like a Christmas polish and it kind of does look like a Christmas polish and this is to a certain extent a good thing or a bad thing like if you have too many Christmas polishes then you probably don't need it but if you're looking for beautiful Christmas polish, well, here it is. So um, I love reds like this. I love orange leaning reds. I think it's very warm and it's very glowy. And so I don't know if I have a lot of these types of polishes in my collection, but it's absolutely stunning and it definitely caught my eye. And this is Dreamland Lacquers O Francesca. The next polish I have is Carl from Stella Chroma and this is a wife beater white crowley with blue flakies and gold flakies and I really really want this because A I love white crowleys and number two I actually have Stella Chroma's Who is the Drizzle which is also inspired from Aqua Teen and this was from like 2019 like mid 2019 polish pickup and I absolutely love that polish and I feel like this will actually complement that so I feel like I have to have these two together and it's a stunning stunning white crowley and this is Salachromas Carl. The next polish is Rogue Lacquer's Going Down the Bayou and this is a slate gray crowley with orange copper gold green color shifting flakes with hollow micro flakes. I mean what can I say you guys I am a sucker for this kind of flaky look just absolutely stunning. I probably have 10 million things like it and that will probably be the kind of deciding factor on whether or not it ends up being purchased or not but I am absolutely smitten. It's just such a beautiful fall flaky bomb, just absolutely stunning. And I have been so in love with Rogue Lacquer this year. And that is Going Down the Bayou by Rogue Lacquer. The next polish I have is Quixotic Polishes Almighty Tall. And this is another one of those that I don't even have to explain to you why I want it. This is a squishy red leaning purple base filled to the brim with red green shifting iridescent flakes. It's another flaky bomb that I probably don't need, but I so, so love the beautiful look of this polish. And so I have nothing else to say, to be honest. That's just it. I think it's so pretty. I am obsessed with flaky bombs. I am obsessed with uh, Quixotic polishes. I've always loved everything that I've had from them. And yeah, I don't know that I'm going to get it because I have so many of these things. And this is Quixotic Polishes Almighty Tall. The next polish I have here is a must-have and this is polish for days remember me and this is a smoky navy slash gray base packed with orange yellow green iridescent shifting flakes. Again, I don't know what to say. I mean, just look at it, you guys. It's so beautiful. It actually reminds me of... Um, I think it was Carnival Confetti that they did way back in the summer of 2019, I believe. And I have that polish and I think it looks like kind of like a purple twin for this polish. It's absolutely stunning to me. I just love the shifts that the flakies give on this polish and that beautiful sort of like grayed out navy base. It's just so stunning. And this is Polish for Days Remember Me. The next polish I have is from Polish Molish, a kitten named Wolf, and this is a pumpkin orange crelly with gold flakes and neon blue glitter. Guys, you guys are going to get so sick of watching my wishlist videos every month because basically you know the same exact stuff that I want. I want this for this high contrast blue glitter against this beautiful orange base with these gold flakies. That is all. That high contrast always gets me and I, I'm just, it's just so beautiful. I have one polish molish um, in my collection and I have never tried it and it's actually a thermal so I hope it's not dead. But I'm also really eager to try it I guess. So maybe I should try that one that I have and then see if I like the formula and stuff like that. But you know, you don't know two polishes the same anyway so... Why am I talking? I'm trying to talk myself out of it, but I probably won't. I probably can't is what it is really. And this is Polish Molishes, a kitten named Dubuff. 
The next polish I have is Night Owl Lacquer's Hot Pants Rain Dance. <laughs> this is a absolutely beautiful stormy gray crelly packed full with several shades of crystal chameleon flakes to create a rainbow effect. Guys, how many times do I have to tell you I am such a sucker for Night Owl Lacquer's flakies and to be perfectly honest, I can't even distinguish what the difference is between this polish and last month's polish. All I know is that it's gorgeous, it's beautiful and I want it. I really want it. So I don't know, the last time I think I did this was that I just purchased it and I decided like, you know, right when they arrived if I wanted them or not and I ended up wanting them I think that's probably what can what's gonna happen I think I'm just probably gonna purchase this and I have that one from the last month and see which one I like the most and you know uh probably the stash one or keep both or I don't know but it's just absolutely gorgeous these blue flakies from Night Owl Lacquer always get me every time and it's just that Crelly is a perfect consistency the perfect opacity to showcase all these beautiful flakies and this is Night Owl Lacquer's Hot Pants Rain Dance the next polish I have is J. Ren's Rainbow Kingdom and holy glowy look at this polish you guys. This is an explosion of fuchsia, orange, gold and green micro flake shifts with an intense holographic sparkle. Oh, J. Ren man, they've just been doing such amazing things. These polishes look absolutely stunning and I don't even know, I don't even know. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful to me. I have a certain, um, I don't know, like a, a certain taste when it comes to glowy polishes. I don't like them almost glass-like, but at the same time, uh, I like them just kind of iridescent and glowy. I don't know, it's so weird. Like, just a case in point, Ethereal Lacquer is not on my list this month because I don't know, there's there's something off-putting to me about that glowiness, which, please don't hate me, I know a lot of you have that polish in your wish lists, but it's not just for me, it's just not for me. But this J. Ren, oh my god, I'm so obsessed with it. It's so glowy, it's just so absolutely beautiful. And this is J. Ren's Rainbow Kingdom. The next polish I have is Fancy Gloss's Duck Season. And this is a very dark brown black in most lights, cold to orange warm, packed with pink, purple, green, gold, copper flakes, and copper red green shimmer. Do I need another Fancy Gloss Thermal? Is the question, really, because I have a couple of them in my stash. I haven't even tried it. I don't even know if I even really will wear a thermal before it's dead at this point. Like, you know, that's always the dilemma, but it's definitely gorgeous. If you're a thermal lover, if you like these, again, these high contrast transitions, um, it's absolutely stunning. And this is Fancy Gloss's Duck Season. The next polish I have is from Dollish Polish and this is Conjunction Junction. What's your function? <laughs> so that's so cute. But anyway, look at this, you guys. This is like a palette cleanser, but not really because it has like some poppin' poppin' colored flakies in there. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love these kind of weird, funky, inventive, creative polishes and it's just simply stunning. I think I'm probably gonna have to get this because I think this is unique. I really don't have something of this like base color flaky combination in my collection and I think it's just simply cute. And this is Dollish Polish Conjunction Junction, what's your function? The next polish I have is the number one on my list this month. It's just absolutely stunning. I definitely have to have it in my collection. And this is Cupcake Polishes Tale As Old As Time. And this is a yellow polish filled with magical red shimmer and flakies and a hint of holographic flakies for added sparkle. And of course, it is uh, inspired by my one of my favorite Disney movies, Beauty and the Beast. And if you have not watched my um, guest stint with... Josephine uh, for her polish talk show on Instagram. 
Um, I'm gonna let you know that the but Beauty and the Beast was my first Broadway show that I ever saw and I fell in love with Broadway through Beauty and the Beast and you know who doesn't love a beautiful nerdy girl <laughs> you know what I mean like it's just such a cute story but let's go back to the polish this polish you guys is just unique it's you know and I have so many yellows that combination of that I mean a yellow polish with a pink flash is not unique but the graininess of this polish with that really strong pink flash and that really deep almost like golden yellow is just simply stunning to me it's stunning and for a yellow lover it would be blasphemous if I don't have this polish like I'm just telling you right now and so yeah it's definitely number one it's gonna get purchased this is cupcake polishes tale as old as time and last but not the least this Cadillacers maybe you'd like me if you knew me and you guys know that the reason why this is on my wish list is because of the yellow glitter this is a purple when it's cold to blue when it's warm thermal with matte yellow glitter in different sizes I really do not need a thermal guys I don't but oh this high contrast and yellow glitter come on like how am i gonna say no to this polish i really just need if i'm gonna purchase a thermal i just need one thermal so please help me pick fancy gloss or cadillac -er because i really really i can't be collecting all these thermals that are going to be dead in six months and i haven't really worn them so it's you know it's such a shame but it's so beautiful and this is Cadillacers maybe you'd like me if you knew me so that is my wish list you guys and it's a lot of items so I'm really really hoping that I am able to sort of streamline it and you know trim it down I don't know that I can sezzle is a beautiful thing but it is also a double-edged sword so please comment down below what you think um, do you think I can do without some things do you think there are things that are must-haves um, you guys know I love reading you guys even though I don't always like reply immediately i love reading your thoughts and i always take them into consideration and so yeah uh thank you for still being here with me after this long video of just talking about what polish is to buy chatting about polish pickup and everything and anything now polish and so if you like this kind of stuff please consider subscribing give me a like you know hit that bell button for notifications and um the next videos i have a couple of content that i have lined up for you guys i just haven't had the time nor the technology to uh, be able to record all of them but it's a coming it's a coming and so yeah i will see you guys in my next video and i hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and well and happy and also don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you guys are picking up for polish pickup okay have a great day. Bye.